Hey coders, today I'm going to show you how to create reordable grid view. So we can cre create UIs like this. Uh, you can see this, right? Uh, we can reorder the images uh, to show there is one main image and all. You can see this. This is a common UI in most of the app like OLX and all. So uh, today I'm going to show you how to build this reordable image i mean reordable grid view using image or whatever widget you need so uh, without any delay let's get started uh, before that make sure you subscribe to our channel and like the video okay then let's get started so to build this grid view uh, i mean i mean reordable grid view we are going to use two dependencies so uh, one will be our uh, uh, image picker and the second one will be our uh, reordable grid view widget it is a great um, great uh, package i mean great dependency to same it's really helpful and it's very easy to use so uh, make sure to add this both this um, dependency to your pubspec.yaml file i have already added it so uh, let's get into the code so guys this is our app i mean this is our code so this is our basic to do app so i have cleared the main body part from here and the floating uh, button is there so we can use that button to add images so our first step is to pick multiple images from gallery so i have added the uh, two dependencies i mentioned image picker and reordable grid view into our, the pubspec.yaml file so first of all let's uh, write the code to uh, add multiple images to our uh, UI so first of all let's use image picker to pick multiple images let's uh, use image picker here image picker let's name it image picker itself and okay the instance is created and now we need a list to store the images for that we need a type of X file and it's gonna be nullable and it our image files okay let's name it like that it, first of all it will be a empty uh, uh, list okay and next we need to write a function in order to select uh, images so let's write that function let's name it uh, void uh, select image itself select okay select images and uh, it will have a, a, it will be a synchronous function sorry I is here As it, okay and here we will create a try cache block try and cache okay if we have a here error just print the error we are doing nothing much here inside the try block uh, we create another list uh, final list same x file and it will be also nullable and let's name it selected images equals await image picker dot multi pick multi image and if uh selected images uh, selected images uh, selected images uh, not equal to null or it is not empty is not empty uh, add a null pointer here i'll check here let's say uh, we need to add uh, image files Add the selected images to our image files. Image files dot add all and provide the selected images here. Selected images. Also, don't forget to add the null check here. And that's it. After that, let's use state to update the UI for now. And okay, exit. Uh, use a non number type file. Non number value. Okay. Okay, maybe here we don't need a uh, null check. Uh, that's that's what the link says. Okay, now let's uh, go to our next part. Uh, no, before that, let's check whether if we can uh, try uh, if our function is working properly. 
and after, before that we need to add a grid view here in order to show the images that we selected to check whether if our uh, select image function is working or not for that inside our actually we did, don't need a column here let's say we can add a grid view builder grid view builder and a grid delegate and item builder we need here so inside the item builder we can okay uh, github auto cooperate is very easy you know very it's very helpful we need context and index here okay bot.io and i think it's uh, almost ready so we need to add the grid delegate and item counts here okay uh, item count will be our image files dot and i'll check here and let's make string wrap to true there's a chance for our app to break if we didn't add string wrap to true and in the grid delegate let's sliver grid delegate with fixed cross axis count and in here where our cross axis count will be let's say three we need to show, show three items and our cross axis facing just uh, say how much is that okay Cross axis spacing 5, main axis 5, spacing 5. Okay, I think it will be enough. Now let's save our app. Now, uh, in our floating action, but action button set state, call our uh, select images function. Now let's try whether our app is working or not. Okay, uh, it's the moment of truth. Uh, okay, now our app is uh, rebuilded. Now let's try it out whether we can check uh, multiple select multiple images or not so here is some images here okay we can select multiple images let's say open okay that's it's the multiple image selection is perfectly working uh, let's try one more time okay it's perfectly working so we don't need this main axis spacing to be five let's say two e will be enough no actually we don't need that uh, it's making it ugly yeah it's ugly <laughs> okay uh, now, now let's not focus on the ui let's focus on the logic here so our multiple image picking is perfectly working now let's use our uh, reordable grid view to uh, make a reordable grid view so <laughs> that's funny okay uh, now let's uh, do that okay instead of this grid view here let's say let's add a reordable grid view and import it okay now I think it's a spelling mistake here. Okay, reorder. No, that's just a me. Let's do from scratch. Reorderable grid view. Okay, here it is. Okay, it was a type. It was a typo. Reorderable grid view is there. Okay, now we need to add a on reorder uh, parameter here. Okay, it's uh, important. Okay, now let's say on reorder, we need to do something and in here we have a old index and new index. First of all, we need to do something. First of all, we need to we need to need a instance of, we need to save the uh, path. I mean, we need to first of all, remove the old path and add the new path. That's what we are going to do from our image files. We say, uh, no, instead of and let's rename it uh, path and we will remove it from old index and okay add an null check here and uh, inside the images file sorry images file we add the new index and the path here okay uh, okay, that's it. And as separate that, let's use set state to update the UI. Okay. Okay, there's a error. Okay, we need to add key in the our in our container here. Okay, let's do that. We need to provide key, and it will be value key and of index. 
and that's it now let's restart our app and try it again uh, you can uh, make the ui better if <laughs> when you are working with your app now i'm doing this for the sake of simplicity of this tutorial okay now our uh, app is rebuilded i mean sorry restarted now let's try it out i am selecting some images and okay now let's try uh, moving it around okay now it's perfectly working okay uh, we have achieved the reordable grid view here okay you can make the may improve the ui if you need and try it out so yeah, make sure to like our video and subscribe the channel for more contents like this okay then guys see you in the next video